What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly the best render settings for YouTube in 1080p and multiple other formats such as 720p, 1080p, 60fps, all of that. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, I would say let's get started right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17. Oh, it feels so good to say that. But as you can see right now, this is basically a video of mine that I uploaded maybe like two weeks ago. So let's say that this is just a finished video. I'm just going to cut it just a little bit because we want to export everything into one file. All right. So let's say that this is our finished video and we want to export it in 1080p for YouTube. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to click on this project video properties wheel above the preview screen. We're not going to render it straight away. We're going to make sure that our project settings are matching. So we're going to click on that icon. And then as you can see right here, it says template. Now you don't want to pay attention to that, but we're going to pay attention the width, the height and all these settings right here. So start, we're going to start off with the width is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is very obvious. Uh, the field order is going to be non progressive scan pixel aspect ratio is 1.0000 square. And the frame rate is also very important. Do you want to have your uh, FPS to be 30? You're going to pick 29.970. Do you want your frame rate to be 50? 50 FPS, you can just pick 50 double pal. Or if you want to have 60 FPS, you can just go ahead and click on 59.940, which is double NTSC. So now that we have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to see for the full resolution rendering quality It's very important. You want to put that from good to best. The motion blur type is Gaussian. The deinterlaced method is blend field. And the resample mode is going to be disable resample. Now, these are basically the settings that you need anytime you want to render. But I can imagine that you don't want to do all of this, you know, all over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a name. For example, YouTube 1080p. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on start all new project with these settings. We're going to click on apply and click on OK. So now we're ready to export it. But make sure before you start editing your video, you want to right click on the video, hit properties and you want to disable the resample and click OK. That's going to make the video just look just a little bit smoother and it's going to also mask project video properties. So now that we're ready for export, we're going to select everything in our timeline that we want to render out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit file at the top left. We're going to click render as. Now we can actually pick a lot of a lot of formats. Which one do we need? We have MP4, we have MPEG2, we have Sony AVC slash MVC, we have XD Cam, we have multiple ones, but what I have been using for years and what works best for me is Sony AVC slash MBC. And we're going to pick internet 1920 by 1080 30p. But we need to also adjust these settings. We're going to click on customize template. And right now we're going to make sure that these settings will match the settings that we just adjusted in the obviously in the video project properties right here the template. That's just basically the name you want to pick the frame size is 1920 by 1080. Your frame rate is going to be 60. And then your pixel aspect ratio is just the same. And the bit rate is 16 million or 16 zero 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 which is very very straightforward you want to also click on audio and make sure that there's audio included because otherwise you will not hear anything I would say the bit rate is going to be 320,000 because I'm not really sure what 512,000 is going to do so this was just sitting standard on 128 but we're going to crank that up to 320 now also the audio encoding mode is going to be stereo and then as you can see the system is not really clickable then we need to go to the project tab and the video rendering quality needs to be best stereoscopic 3d mode is just going to be the same and their color space is going to be default now that all the settings are optimized we can also give this a name for example youtube 1080p 60 for example so you guys know that it's 60 fps so now you can click on this diskette icon which is going to save the template so now we're going to click on there we're going to click on ok and right now it will actually appear on your list right here in your presets. Now, the only thing you need to do is choose the location. You can click on browse where you want to save your rendered file. And then you can just, for example, click on the desktop. And then you can just, for example, give this a name, for example, rendered video. And if you go ahead and click on render, it is now going to show you guys uh, the video like going play back really, really slow. And this is basically how to render videos and the best render settings for YouTube in 1080p. But let's say that you want to, for example, have your video in 720p, go to this wheel icon, and you can just go ahead and change the width 
to 1280 by 720. That's the resolution for 720p. You can also choose your frame rate that remains the same and you can just click on this diskette or you can just call this a different name, for example, 720p like that. Click on this diskette icon. That's going to save it. Obviously, that's how to do it, guys. This is how you render your videos in 720p, 60 FPS. Uh, if you want to have a 30, go to frame rate and you just want to pick 29.970 and that works exactly the same for 1080p. So guys, that's it. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in my next Vegas Pro 17 tutorial.